What's going on everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com and this is the MyTouch 3G slide from T-Mobile. It's an HTC, it's an HTC made device. It's uh, T-Mobile's new flagship phone, a uh, new flagship of their MyTouch line, their custom in-house brand of MyTouch line. It's Android, Android 2.1 with HTC Sense on top of it, but it's a customized version of Sense just for T-Mobile, codename Espresso, but you don't need to know that, you just know the MyTouch slide. It's got all kinds of special features and tweaks and stuff you're not going to find on any other devices. And it's a huge phone for T-Mobile. And because of all that, and because of the interest that's been shown so far uh, from the unboxing video, we decided, let's go multi-touch, or multi-touch, multi-part uh, on this one. I got cell phones on the brain too much. Multi-part on this one, a whole bunch of videos for you on the hardware, on special features, on the operating system and software, you know, everything else we can think of, we'll bring it to you. So uh, a whole bunch of videos on the MyTouch 3G slide from T-Mobile and HTC. All right, so here's your MyTouch 3G slide uh, from T-Mobile, and this video is going to focus on the hardware. We're going to do separate videos on the uh, operating system and some of the special features and multimedia stuff like that. So more videos to come. This one's going to focus on the hardware, and I apologize in advance. I'm wearing the glove for this video on my left hand. I had a little bit of an accident in the kitchen last night. I'm fine. Don't worry. But I figured, you know, the glove might be kind of funny, or at the least, you know, it would kind of not distract you as much. Uh, from the gnarly kind of, uh, you know, bandage that's on the tip of my left index finger here. So there you go. I will try to keep, I'll try to do this video mostly right-handed, you know, except when we get into the keyboard. But <laughs> anyway, uh, I didn't want you to be wondering, like, why has he got a glove on? What's wrong with that guy? So here is the device itself. It's uh, a 3.4-inch HVGA uh, capacitive multi-touch. So the screen a little bit smaller than the screens that you find on the other uh, high-end flagship Android phones that just came out. Oh, look, here they are. Um, the Sprint HTC Evo 4G, wow, a lot of fingerprints on that one, and I should have cleaned it off, uh, has a 4.3-inch display, WVGA, and on the other side of it, the Droid Incredible for Verizon. These are all HTC-made phones. This one has a 3.7-inch display, also WVGA. So uh, the MyTouch 3G slide, a little bit smaller screen in terms of both um, physical size and pixels. Uh, so the phone itself, on the front here, you've got the multi-touch display. Uh, you've got four buttons on the bottom, home, menu, back. And then instead of a search button, you have the genius button, which activates this whole genius system, this kind of advanced uh, voice recognition system, which is pretty cool. And then you've got um, a D-pad done here in the bottom. It's an optical D-pad that you uh, you can you know click on as well to do stuff. So I'm trying to find something that you can click on here, or that I can click on, I should say. But um, nothing going. But uh, so it's it's optical. You use it like a D-pad, but then you know you press down the center to select. You got it. I didn't have to say that four times, but I did anyway. Uh, if you press the home button from the home screen, you get the leap view, which is a standard thing on on HTC Sense. 2.1, so it's kind of like thumbnails of all your different home panels. Five home panels available. We'll go back. Uh, you can, I was asked a question about this, so I'll mention this now, even though it's more of a software thing. You can't do live wallpapers on this phone. Um, it's this custom version of Sense that does not run live wallpapers. And you'll also see that the icons look a little, a little different than they do on other um, Android phones or even HTC Sense Android phones. That's because this is a very highly customized version of Sense, uh, codename Espresso, for the MyTouch. 3G slide, but uh, we'll get more into that into the software video. Look back to the hardware, you've got your uh, speaker grill up on top, little LED notification light, you might have just seen blink green over there. On the left side of the phone, there's a rocker switch. On the right side of the phone, there's a dedicated camera button. On the bottom, you've got a micro USB port. On top, you've got a 3.5mm headphone jack, or 3.5mm audio jack, I should say, and then a button that does um, screen lock and power. On the back, 5 megapixel camera with flash and your speakerphone grill. The phone is available in black, which you see here. It's also available in red and in white. And there's a whole host of uh, accessories, part of Team Mobile's whole MyTouch line. A whole bunch of accessories available. Also, the phone comes in this uh, kind of funny box. It's like this plastic sort of suitcase thing. You can see that in the unboxing video if you're interested. Uh, it is a slider, so you slide it open. And you've got, which uh, what to me is one of the big highlights of the phone is the keyboard. This is a fantastic QWERTY keyboard. Uh, it, it reminds me of the keyboard on the HTC Touch Pro 2 series, but it's a little bit smaller to fit, um, you know, the fact that the device itself is a little smaller. So it's four rows, not five. The action on the keys is great. 
Um, I've talked to a few people who don't like the fact that uh, not only is there not a dedicated number row, but the way the buttons are labeled, uh, especially in the top row here, you know, the, the numbers and the letters are equal size and they wish that the secondary labels have been a little smaller. I see the point. It doesn't really bother me. I see the point. More important to me is that the action on the keys is great. Uh, the space bar is down here in a non-letter row. So instead of being between, you know, like C and, or uh, V and B like it is on some of the new, some of the new LG phones have that. Uh, instead, it's this row down here on the bottom is just for, uh, for punctuation and, and symbols and uh, shortcut keys, which I think is really great. Uh, you've got your, sh your caps lock. Well, I unlock the screen here. And we'll go to uh, messages so you can see. And so your caps lock key uh, lights up. You can see down there on the bottom. And then also function. There's also a lit indicator, which I think is kind of nice. Uh, I like that they're dedicated uh, comma and period keys. Maybe this is more distracting with uh, the glove on, actually, now that I think about it. But uh, you know what? I'm going to leave the glove on for the rest of the video. Why not? Um, I like that there are dedicated keys for uh, punctuation or uh, comma and period because you use those a lot. At least I still do. I still punctuate a lot. Double wide space key, uh, two shift keys, which is nice. Just the action on the keys is very crisp, um, even with the glove on. See, now I'm making a big deal about the glove and I messed myself up there. That's what I get. That is what I get. All right, the glove's off. You can just deal with the Band-Aid. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, so the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy. Whoops. Yeah, it's a nice key, but the action on the keys is good. Nice and firm. Uh, short travel, but not, you know, not, not too bad. Very firm response. Uh, I don't feel much, you know, or anything really in the way of that double clicking you sometimes get on those double wide keys. Uh, no sloppiness. It's just, it's a nice keyboard. I, I personally really like it. Uh, you've got a home shortcut key, menu, search all down here as well. And then you can easily get to the touch screen and the, uh, the trackpad. So there you go. Big thumbs up for me anyway on the keyboard. Uh, I'll go back to the home screen. One thing that I've found though, and I've talked to a few people who haven't noticed this, on, on their early review units, but I have, is that I've got some, some wobble here in the slider. When the phone is open, uh, I feel a little bit of wobble here in the joint, and uh, it, I notice it mostly when actually pressing, not where I was there, but pressing down right here. Uh, and it's actually more on this side than that side, which makes me wonder if it is a defect. Um, hopefully not something that will plague production runs of this, of this phone. But... Um, Definitely feel it when I tap down there. I don't know. I think there, I think, you know, when I shut up, you can hear not much wobble there, but on this side. And so really, you know, I notice that when the phone's open and then I try to do something like touch the screen or go up here to the uh, D-pad. Typing, not a problem. Phone closed, not a problem. But I do notice it there. A little disconcerting because uh, otherwise, you know, it's a very solid snap slider action. Really good. The phone, you know, it's plastic. But it, it's solid. It's, uh, you know, a little bit uh, on the heavy side just because it is a, a double-layered uh, cordy slider. Uh, you know, easily fits in one hand, no problem. And it is pretty pocketable as well. You know, it's not as thin as something like the Incredible here is 11.9 millimeters. And, uh, you know, the, um, the My Touch slide is noticeably thicker. Uh, same with the Evo, which is a little thicker than the Incredible. Uh, but again, you know, slide cordy. So that's what you get. Definitely smaller than the Touch Pro 2. And for people coming from the Sidekick line, uh, which, you know, you may see some folks coming from T-Mobile's Sidekick line to step up to a full-on Android smartphone, definitely smaller than a Sidekick. Uh, but again, I think it's a small price to, play, to pay for what so far, in my view, has been an excellent QWERTY keyboard. All right, and we'll fire up the camera real quick here so you can see how that works. Part of the hardware, part of the software also. Uh, camera has HTC's slightly enhanced software. Uh, this is on all their new phone, new Android phones, so they added a few things, image properties, some other stuff that you can tweak. Uh, but the camera itself, photo and video capture. In photo capture you can go up to 5 megapixels. And if we go back to video capture, you can go up to VGA resolution 640 by 480. So we'll shoot a little video here. I'll shoot a little video here. Hang on one second. Alright, a little video for you. This is sure to be a winner. <laughs> Go to the gallery here. I'm Noah, and you're watching Phone Dog TV. 
And so there you go. Uh, video video quality so far so good. I will uh, I'll shoot some video and upload directly to YouTube. Uh, so you can see how it comes out. Easy enough to share with the uh, the share button from the Android software. You can go Bluetooth, Facebook, Flickr, Gmail, T-Mobile, Peep, across YouTube, etc., etc., etc. So we'll do more with the camera, but uh, 5 megapixel with flash VGA video capture. Uh, otherwise, on the device, battery life has been pretty good. You know, my, my rule of thumb these days is if it can last you know, one full day of pretty heavy use before I have to charge it and it doesn't, you know, fail before the end of the day. To me, that that's good. And definitely I've been getting that kind of battery life. Um, call quality has been good. Uh, you know, it's T-Mobile. And so, you know, it kind of depends on what coverage is like where you are, but I've had pretty good call quality. Uh, 3G speeds have been good also. Um, and again, T-Mobile's in the process of upgrading their networks. So if you're in one of the areas where, you know, HSDPA Plus has been let up, you should get slightly faster download speeds. Um, uh, sound quality via the headphone jack, also really good. Uh, if you plug in your own high quality headphones or route this into a car stereo or home stereo or your boom box, your ghetto blaster, uh, you can definitely use it as a mobile music player. Uh, we'll take a look in the back here and we'll pry off the, uh, the back cover. And so here's your battery. Um, and here on the side is your micro SD card slot. Phone came with a eight gigabyte card pre-installed. It's upside down, but you can see it. And then we'll pull the battery out. And so you've got a 1300 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. Here's your SIM card slot. Uh, it's GSM quad band, it uses T-Mobile's AWS banding, so theoretically if this phone was unlocked you could use it on AT&T or on uh, GSM networks around the world, but uh, not with 3G uh, data. You would be getting edge data or GPRS data because, uh, because of T-Mobile's proprietary 3G bands with the AWS. Boot it back up. Get the fingerprints off of it. Uh, you've also got Wi-Fi on here, uh, you've got Bluetooth, of course, GPS, um, and the voice recognition system is enhanced. That's mostly software, though. It's built on top of uh, Google's voice recognition. You get access to uh, Google, Google Navigation, of course, all the other Google services. Um, again, all in all, hardware-wise, uh, it's a nice device. It feels like a consumer, you know, kind of like a high-end consumer device. It doesn't feel as luxurious as something like the Nexus One, uh, but it's solid, you know, you may or may not like the styling with kind of the the enhanced grill there. If you look at these other two HTC, recent HTC devices, the Dread Incredible and the Evo have kind of this standard grill, uh, just differently colored and differently sized to fit the phone. My touch, a little more chrome, a little more flair to it. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of what you think of it. Um, but the hardware's been solid. Again, that one concern with the the, the uh, wobble on the slider that I mentioned, but other people I know who have the device have not had that problem. And I don't just mean T-Mobile PR people. I've talked to a couple other reviewers I know who have my touches who say they don't have any wobbles. So if you get your hands on one of these, let us know in the comments if you have any, any problems, any wobble at all. But otherwise, um, you know, so far so good. Here's the back. I don't think I showed you the back panel extended with that dot pattern. Go to phone dog. And uh, I'm connected over Wi-Fi right now. It's a 600 megahertz processor. Uh, it's not a one gigahertz Snapdragon. Um, some hardware folks I talked to said for a phone with this screen size, you don't need a Snapdragon. 600 megahertz should be fine. Uh, the HTC Legend kind of showed that similar screen or same screen size and uh, uh, resolution. And, you know, no real issues with lag or anything like that. Um, I, when I first started using this phone, I didn't have any issues at all with the speed. Then I started using the Evo and came back to this phone and did notice, you know, a little bit slower than the Evo, but because it is a slower processor. But I don't think there's anything about the speed of this phone that's going to cause problems for people uh, unless you're looking for issues. Unless you're like, oh man, it's not a Snapdragon, it's going to be slow. If you're just a consumer picking this phone up and using it, you know, it's responsive. I mean, I'm pinching and zooming, it's responsive. I'm closing the phone and turning the accelerometer and it responds. 
Turn the accelerometer again, it responds. When I close the phone before, I didn't turn the accelerometer and that was the issue. Open the phone up, it responds. So, you know, I, I, I haven't had any noticeable lag problems. It's just that when I used the phone and then switched to a Snapdragon phone and then switched back, it was like, okay, yeah, it is a little bit slower. But, I, you know, I think it's absolutely fine uh, for what it does and for people's uses and that sort of thing. So there you go. It's an overview of the hardware. Again, it's available not just in the black, but also in red and in white. It's the MyTouch 3G Slide from T-Mobile, built by HTC, 3.4-inch HVGA display, uh, 600 megahertz processor, Wi-Fi, 3G, GPS, Bluetooth, all that good stuff. It's got some a, a bunch of customized features, which we're going to show you in other videos on the software and the features. Uh, Android 2.1 with Sense, but it's a custom version of Sense called Espresso. It's got the Genius button, which takes you to this special voice recognition system. Please wait. Search spicy fajita recipes. See, I switched it up because one of the examples was spicy chili recipes, so I wanted to switch it up. What do we get? Spicy playita, not fajita playita. Uh, you know, all right. Also, swipe pre-installed. So if you don't want to use the uh, the hard QWERTY, you can use swipe. But the hard QWERTY, I think, is great. Much, much more coming. More videos, all kinds of coverage on the MyTouch 3G slide, and of course the Evo, the incredible, everything else that comes out if there is a new Sidekick. Whatever it is, we'll have you covered over on phonedog.com and for your Android devices, droidog.com. Till next time, my name is Noah. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry about the, uh, the finger. I'm hiding the finger. I took the glove off. The glove was a bad idea, but maybe you got a laugh out of it. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.